On November 3, 2024, OPEX 360 reported that the French Navy is on the brink of unveiling a groundbreaking electromagnetic railgun capable of launching projectiles at Mach 8.7. This ambitious project, steered by the French-German Research Institute of St. Louis ISL, under the Defense Innovation Agency, AID, signifies a major milestone in naval weaponry, promising unprecedented firepower and precision. While France leads the charge in railgun development, other nations are also exploring its potential. China, for instance, has reportedly tested a railgun aboard its amphibious assault ship Haiyang Shan, though the specifics of this test remain unverified. Japan, meanwhile, has made significant strides through its Ministry of Defense's Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics Agency, ATLA. In October 2023, ATLA successfully tested a 5 megajoule railgun, launching a 40 mm projectile at Mach 6.5, establishing Japan as a key player in the EMRG race. Recognizing the strategic advantages of electromagnetic railguns, European countries have embarked on collaborative initiatives to reinforce defense capabilities. One pivotal project is the European Union's Pylum Project, projectiles for increased long-range effects using electromagnetic railgun, coordinated by ISL. Pylum has demonstrated the feasibility of launching high-precision projectiles across several hundred kilometers, creating a blueprint for future defense capabilities. Following Pylum's success, the European Defense Fund, EDF, backed the establishment of the THEMA, Technology for Electromagnetic Artillery Program in June 2023 with a 15 million euro grant, ensuring Europe's competitive edge in EMRG development. Adding to this collaborative framework, Japan recently signed a Terms of Reference, TOR agreement with France and Germany, creating pathways for technical collaboration between Japan's ATLA and ISL. This international partnership is expected to accelerate advancements in EMRG technology. At the heart of France's EMRG ambitions is the Railgun Project, launched by the French General Directorate for Armament, DGA, to enhance the Navy's defense capabilities against fast-evolving maritime threats, including hypersonic projectiles and massed aerial assaults. The Railgun system utilizes electromagnetic energy to propel projectiles at extreme velocities, offering high-precision targeting over vast distances. Reports indicate a potential range of over 200 kilometers, ideal for intercepting fast-moving aerial threats and defending against saturation attacks. The railgun system introduces revolutionary upgrades to naval operations by enhanced engagement speed. Positioned on a vessel's bow, the railgun allows for faster engagement times against aerial threats, with its rapid-firing high-velocity impacts increasing the chances of successful interceptions. Reduced ammunition requirements, railgun technology eliminates the need for conventional propellants, allowing ships to store more rounds, reducing resupply needs, and maximizing the number of engagements a vessel can sustain without additional ammunition. High-speed long-range defense, with ISL confirming projectile speeds of 3,000 meters per second, equivalent to Mach 8.7, this railgun achieves hypersonic speeds, positioning it as a formidable asset in naval defense. Electromagnetic railguns work by creating a magnetic field between two conductive rails using a high-intensity electric current. This magnetic field propels a conductive projectile at high velocities via the Lorentz force. However, reaching such extreme speeds demands advanced materials that can withstand substantial mechanical stress, as well as an immense, rapidly discharging energy source. With the railgun project's progression, the French Navy stands poised to redefine naval artillery, potentially setting new benchmarks in range, velocity, and precision. As France and its allies collaborate to perfect this technology, Electromagnetic railguns could soon become an essential component of modern naval defense, providing the speed and firepower needed to counter future maritime threats effectively.